We'll come back. Okay, the diagram shows two escalators, AC and AD in a shopping center. The escalator AC of length 16 meters leads to the first floor, while the escalator AD of length 22 meters leads to the second floor. Okay, as you can see over here. So given that the straight line BCD is perpendicular to the horizontal basement ABE, all right? And angle BAC equals to 30 degrees, find the height between the basement and the first floor. Okay, so it means finding BC. Okay, what is the length of BC? Alright, so very simple, right? This is a right angled triangle. So we have to use trigonometry. So opposite over hypotenuse. Why is that? Yes, yeah, sine. Alright, so sine 30 degrees is equal to BC over 16. So BC is sine 30 degrees is 0 0.5 times 16. So it's 8 meters. Okay, so this is the height. Then for part B, find the height between the first floor and the second floor. Alright, so what is the height over here? Okay, so we've already found that this is 8 meters. Okay, so now, for this case, can we just use this right angle triangle? To we use this angle over here, 30 degrees. We say this opposite over hypotenuse and we can find BD. Can we just do that straight away? No, we can't, right? Okay, what we have to do is to find AB first. Okay, we have to find AB first. So using this right angle triangle, ABC. So adjacent over hypotenuse, that will be cosine 30 degrees is equal to AB over 16. So AB is 16 cosine 30 degrees. All right. So this is 16 cosine 30 degrees. And now, how to find CD? Can we just find directly? No, we can't. We have to find BD first, right? Okay, so in order to find BD, we have to use this right angle triangle, ABD. Okay, so this is 16 cosine 30 degrees. This is 22. So we have to find BD. So BD, using Pythagoras theorem, is equal to 22 squared minus the square of this. This is approximately 17.08801 meters. And now we can find CD, okay, which is the height between the first and the second floor. So CD is equals to 17.08801 minus 8. So it's 9.09 .09 meters, rounded off to 3SF. All right. Okay, then find angle DAC. So this angle over here, okay? So how do we find this angle? Can we just find this angle using this triangle, ACD? No, we can't, right? Because triangle ACD is not a right angle triangle. So we need to use a right angle triangle to find the angle. So what we can do is to use right angle triangle, ABD, Alright, so this is 16 cosine 30 degrees. This is 22. So we can find angle DAB first. Alright. So adjacent over hypotenuse. So from here, cosine angle DAB is equal to 16 cosine 30 degrees divided by 22. So angle DAB will be inverse cosine of this. 16 cosine 30 degrees over 22. So you calculate this out. It is approximately 50.96194 degrees. Alright. And now we can find angle DAC. 
So it's 50.96194 minus 30 degrees. And this would be 21.0 degrees, rounded off to one decimal place. Okay? So take note for angles, always round off to one decimal place. Alright?